Hello, my name is Sarah Cover, and I'm one of the program managers with HeartMath Tutoring. Let's have some fun with math. Today, we're going to learn how to play drawing to solve division problems, and it is from our multiplication and division notebook. The purpose of this activity is to practice drawing circles and making tally marks in order to solve division problems. For this activity, you will need several sheets of paper and a pencil or pen. So please pause the video and take a moment to gather your materials and I'll meet you back here. Welcome back. We are now going to learn how to draw to solve division problems. It can be helpful to use models and manipulatives to solve sharing and grouping division problems, but we won't always have manipulatives that we can use. So today we're going to practice drawing circles and making tally marks in order to solve division problems. Throughout the activity, we're going to keep track of information in the division problems in a division chart. And so to get started, we need to set up our division chart. And as you can see, I already created mine and I have my paper horizontal or sideways to make sure I can fit all the information onto it. And so your chart will have five columns and will be labeled number in all, number of groups, number of items in each group, division equation, and finally, multiplication equation. Hmm, if I'm solving division problems, why do you think I would have a column for multiplication equation? All right, feel free to pause the video so you can remember what your chart should look like while you create your own. Then let's get started with our first example problem. Sam made 27 Rice Krispie treats to share evenly with his friends. There were nine children all together. How many Rice Krispie treats did each of them get? Let's use our division chart to enter the information we know from the problem. Do I know the number I have in all? Yes, I know I have 27 Rice Krispie treats, so I will enter that here. And I'll just call them treats. Next, do I know my number of groups? Yes, the problem tells me there are nine children all together. So that means I have nine groups who will be getting the Rice Krispie treats. I'll put nine children. Number of items in each group. Hmm, do I know that yet? I think that is what my problem is asking me to solve for. Let me reread the question again. How many Rice Krispie treats did each of them get? Yes, it seems that the problem is asking me how many Rice Krispie treats each uh, child got, which is the same as the number of items in each group. So since I don't know that yet, I'm just going to note a blank spot since this is what I'm solving for. My division equation is going to be the problem I'm solving. So let's think about this. I have 27 Rice Krispie treats that I'm splitting equally between nine children. I'm solving for how many treats each child will get. So my division equation is going to be 27 divided by nine equals this blank. That's what we're solving for. My multiplication problem is going to use the same numbers as my division problem, like a fact family. So I almost have to think backwards. If I have nine students, that's my groups, times the number in each group, which I don't know yet, I will get my total of 27. And so that means that nine times this blank, once I figured out, will equal my total 27. This chart sure holds a lot of useful information in an easy to read way. Now let's get to solving. So we are going to model this problem using circles and tally marks. And so you can remember the problem I'm solving for, I'm going to write it at the top again. So 27 divided by 9 equals something. Now remember, we're trying to figure out how many treats each child gets. And so first, I'm going to draw circles for the groups that I know I have. So I know I have nine groups because that's my nine children, so I'm going to draw nine circles. And make sure you draw your circles large enough to hold the number of tallies you may create. Since I'm not sure how many I'm going to put in each circle, I'm going to make my circles fairly large. All right, I have my nine circles from my nine groups, 
And now I'm going to figure out how many treats each student will get or how many tallies to put in each circle. And since I don't know, I'm going to deal out tallies one at a time in each circle until I get to my total of 27. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So it looks like after dealing out 27 tally marks, each circle ended up with three. So that means each child will receive three Rice Krispie treats. So I know the answer to this division problem is three, and now I can finish filling out my division chart. And so that number three will complete all the blanks in my chart. So I had 27 treats that I split equally between nine children, which gave them each three treats. That means again, my division problem is 27 divided by nine equals three. And what do you think my multiplication problem will be? If you said nine times three, you're correct. So nine times three equals 27, because nine groups times three in each group will equal 27. All right, let's practice with another problem. So a bakery sold 30 cakes in a number of days. If it sold five cakes each day, how many days did it take to sell 30 cakes? All right, so we can set up this problem the same way. I'm again asking, do I know my, num my total number? Yes, I know the bakery sold 30 cakes, and that's my number in all. Do I know the number of groups? No, I don't actually think I do. Let me look at the question again. So how many days did it take to sell 30 cakes? And so I think what I'm looking for is the number of days. And so I'd actually know the groups. So I'll put a blank here. I know that will represent how many days. Number of items in each group. Well, this I do know as well, because my problem told me that five cakes were sold each day. So since the day is my group, and I sold five each day, that's the number in each group. So five cakes per day. And so division equation, we just as before, I could start with my total number, 30. And this time I'm going to divide it by the number of items in each group. And so five, and that's going to help me solve for my unknown, the number of groups. And my multiplication equation, I don't know how many groups I have, so that's my blank. So I'm going to multiply it times five in each group, and that will give me my total of 30. All right, so now I can solve for this problem. And again, just as before, I'm gonna write my problem at the top so I can remember what it is. So now I have 30 in all, divided by five will equal something. All right, so this time, I don't know the number of groups. So I can't draw circles to start with. However, I do know the number of items in each group, which is five. And so that means I can draw tallies in groups of five. And then when I get to 30, I'll be able to draw circles around those groups and figure out how many I have in total. So I have one, two, three, four, five. That's one group. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, so I've made 30 tally marks and I kept them organized in groups of five. And so now I can draw circles around them and that will tell me how many groups I have. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six groups. So I can answer my division equation here. And again, I can use this to fill out the blanks in my division chart. 
So I just found that it took six days for the bakery to sell 30 cakes if they sold five cakes each day. I know this because I just figured out that 30 divided by five equals six. And that means that six times five equals 30. Now it's time for you to practice. Let's solve the problems on the next screen. Before you start solving, write the information for your problem in your division chart. This will help you see where your blank is, what you're trying to solve, and what you're solving for. Then to solve, draw circles and tallies to represent the problem. I'll work on solving them too, and then let's meet back here to compare our charts to see if we ended up with the same answers. Welcome back. So I finished solving the division problems, which I did using circles and tallies, and I really liked using those. It helped me to understand how to think about division by seeing groups and the items in each group. And the division chart also helped me organize my thoughts. Remember, when drawing to solve division problems, circles and tallies are a great strategy. If you know your number of groups and not the number of items in each group, you'll draw circles first and then deal out the tallies. If you know the number of items in each group, but not the number of groups, you won't make circles first, but instead you'll make groups of tallies. And then when you've reached your total, you'll make circles to figure out how many groups you had. Also, be sure to draw your circles large enough to hold the tallies you may need to put inside. Thank you for following along. I hope you enjoyed practicing drawing to solve division problems. If you have any questions or for additional support, please check out the resources page seen here.